Hello everyone, it's Edo4 back again with another video and this topic is going to be about 88 Rising and how they influence me. So I'm going to pass this down to my Louisiana itself. Louisiana Edo? Edo? Oh yeah. Thanks once again, Eddie from Florida. So the very first time I got into 88 Rising was Chinese rap group from Chengdu is called Higher Brothers. This was during after I came back from California in 2016 to Louisiana. And the first song I saw was called Don't Kill My Vibe. And right from that moment, that's when I started to fall in love with 88 Rising. And... And the second artist I got into was Rich Brian, and it's a term you guys already know the story, but I'll explain that a little further. So, on one day during the first years of Full Cell, I saw that he was coming to a concert during Orlando, Florida that was like near the school, and so I finally got the chance to get to it. The only bad news is that at the time, like, I was living at CDI. And I, that was the first time I lost my key card. And ironically, from that time, that's, I had a dream I was going to lose that key card. So there was that. And there was also more other artists that came into the picture of 88 Rising. And yeah, that's the story of 88 Rising. And I believe these guys are still doing a good job. And I also will always remember Papa Frank as well as the good Joji. All right, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Back to you, uh, Eddie in Florida. Yeah, man, thanks again for uh, telling the story of how I got influenced by 88 Rising. For those who don't know, this company was originally made by Sean Miroshiro. And the reasoning why he really wanted to make this group is because he was really feeling there was a lack of Asian music in an Asian music company. And boy, oh, howdy, he and he completed his goal. So now the shout outs for this video, it all goes to a new subscriber from my Instagram called D2X, Rich Brian, Nikki, The Higher Brothers, Zong TV, which also inspired the, the CDC Rap House and started Higher Brothers and many people that came before and after Higher Brothers, Keith Ape, Joji, August 08, Filthy Frank 2, and Duck Raff. And that's about do it for my video. I will see you guys next time for another new video of the J-Pop Group Zone. See you next time. Goodbye. Um, one, one of these days during my life. So, I'm Oh yeah, thanks again. Mm.